Well, we're here with Tyler, and we're talking about the a uh, whole lot of things today. Season. This is one of the uh, postseason uh, episodes. I think I might have one more postseason episode because uh, we have some match play matches coming up. We're going to discuss one today that's just incredible. Um, Tyler, just want to talk to you about the whole men's league year. Uh, 240 golfers. Um, just an, an amazing year. Your thoughts on on our whole year in general? You know, John, I was really happy this year. We got off to a great start. Uh, the early season uh, weather we had was was great. I mean, we had a, a pretty mild March and April, which got the season kicked off right on time. No delays this year. 240 members. Uh, that's certainly one of the biggest uh, in the province, if not in Canada. I mean, it, it's such a such a great, great event. I mean, everyone who comes to Carleton, when we do our tours uh, for prospective members, uh, we always talk about how great our leagues are and, and especially the men's league. I, I don't think we had, what, we had one rain out, two rain out, I mean, at the most. Um, one rain out. Yeah, one rain out. That's awesome. I mean, for, for the whole season to only have one rain out and, um, and the participation was great. I mean, access to the tee was great. I, I didn't find any issues um, this year uh, booking, you know, doing the lotteries. Everyone was getting their times and, and, I don't know, just the vibe was great this year. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it worked out. We made some big changes uh, going to three divisions. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think that was received very positively. Except, as, you know, when I looked at the races at the end of the year, there was like five points separating yeah. like the, first, the tenth place from the first place. So it was so close in every division. Just an amazing... Uh, and the prize, the, of course, the prizes were uh, uh, much, much better this year. And I think everybody's pretty happy with uh, what they uh, what they won. By the way, everybody means they win something. So mm -hmm. get in there and get your prize because they can't hold on to these things forever. They got to put them away. <laughs> the auditors want me to spend all my money by the end of the year, but I can't spend the darn money if you don't get in there and, and uh, take your prize. So uh, uh, please do so. We have a lot of people still dropping by and picking up their prizes. We had Steve Lydell in today. You know, he said, oh, Tyler, I finished. I think I finished last place. And I said, well, let's have a look. I mean, he still walked away with a dozen golf balls and a Carlton hat. So, I mean, he was pretty happy with that. So even even low down the list, you're still walking away for a great prize. Like the last place wins 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. bucks. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not bad. The last, uh, last 90 spots win $40. If you finish 150 and above, you win more than that. So, you know, it, it, it was a good year for that. Um, yeah, so lots of changes. A couple of ideas that we're going to go next year. We're not going to talk about it now, but we want to make the league better, more competitive, uh, especially for the older golfers that uh, can't quite hit some of these uh, par fours like they used to. And so we'll talk a bit about more at, a, at another time, but uh, there, are, there will be possibly some changes for next year on that. So yesterday, big day, big day yesterday, because we have three divisions and we have a winner in each division. But the winner of the Al Murray Trophy is the person with the most points of those three divisions. On the last day of competition, before they started, Jim Busco was leading by one point. Charles LaPointe. Played very, very well. Jim Busco played well. Jim got one extra point. Charles got two. They tied. The way it works, and this trophy, this Al Murray trophy, by the way, Al Murray used to do what I did in the in the 60s and 70s. Only he did it by hand, and he was an incredible guy, apparently. I never met him, uh, but people talk glowingly on him, so they, they named the, the Men's League winner trophy after him. Uh, since 1963, the way you break ties in men's league is in a playoff. Normally you break it at men's close, but we had a uh, shotgun and we couldn't break it that way. So they went out yesterday, Jim Busco and Charles LaPointe. Now last week you picked Jim Busco <laughs> and I picked Charles LaPointe and it was close. I got to tell you it was close, but in the end, our new men's league champion, our 61st men's league champion is Charles LaPointe. He got 20 points to uh, Jim Busco's 18. So uh, congratulations, Charles. You're our new uh, champion. You get your name on the trophy. And uh, that that's uh, wonderful. You don't want any extra money, though, Charles. That's, a, that's, a, that's enough money. But 
Charles and seven other groups went down to Montreal yesterday. Let's talk about that at the National Golf League. Go ahead. Give them the good yeah. news. Yeah, no, really exciting, uh, uh, John. Uh, yeah, Charles was part of the field. His partner was Pete Richardson. Uh, we had we had six groups and, and uh, of men and one group of ladies all go down to Summerlee, Summerlee Golf Club. What a great, great golf course that is. Um, we, uh, I, a lot of people have had a chance to play there before. It's, it's gorgeous. Uh, so we sent the teams down. So this is the National Golf League Regional Finals. And so exciting to say two of our teams finished tied for first place. You can see it there on the video. Two teams shot 44 uh, Staleford points tied for first. So of the top nine teams, two Carlton teams are going down to the Canadian Open at Osprey Valley to go and do the NGL finals. Um, that is so, so cool. It is. You know, there I counted them up. There are 58 teams that competed. Carlton had seven of those teams, 12%. Uh, just an amazing uh, participation rate from our club. We sent every spot they gave us. And, uh, you know, I mean, these two teams did really well. We had a lot of teams that missed the cut, but they didn't do too bad. I mean, they, they uh, you know, I mean, it, it's tough. 44 points is exceptional. If you have mm -hmm. two teams do it is is really, really good. But uh, let's just look. Uh, we have Ryan Valley, who was, uh, who was a winner last year with Andrew Fulton. Uh, he had 38 points. That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, let's see who else. Will Loud and Steve Liddell at 36. Um, Lori Ridgeway and Lynn Leash at 35. So mm -hmm. good for them. Fraser Smith, Andrew Buzza, 34. Um, there's two old Carlton guys. They play out of Reed View now. Ron Drosky, Jamie Armstrong. Uh, Charles Point and Pete Richardson at 33. Not their best day. I expected uh, they would do a little better, but uh, uh, they, uh, you know, they had higher, they had lower handicaps, so it's a little tougher for them. Uh, but uh, congratulations to our two big winners. Uh, hey, if they win there, guess what happens? Where do they go? <laughs> They're going to the British Open. Got it. You got it, my friend. So congratulations to those teams. Uh, next week in our CTV update, I'm hoping to have. Uh, one or both those groups with us uh, to uh, uh, do their story. I, I've tried to get, an, I'll try to get an interview with them uh, to hear what happened. Now, well, John, John we, we posted this up on the message of the day. So anyone who wants to see the full results, just go on message of the day and you can click on the link there and, and you'll see it. There's a great photo of the two teams uh, that they sent me earlier today. So uh, and, I'll, and I'll put that in the video as well. I've, I've got that. Uh, in the video, where where am I looking here now? Um, here we go. Now on to men's league close. What a close we had! We had a uh, we had a five man step aside format. Uh, now some teams only had four, um, and our winning team had four. Uh, they it was a handicapped event, much of the RV. Uh, uh, um, RCB, RBC Scramble, and uh, Terry Van Kessel, Andrew Buzza, Jeff Gifford, and Pat Fitzgerald uh, golfed exceptional and won the event $75 each. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, Martin, they, 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 they played great, John. And just to give you a little tidbit, we were on 17 teeing off when they were on number, uh, number 12, par 3. And uh, we saw them make this really, really long putt. So, I mean, they, they were playing really well together as a team. Um, yeah, so congrats to that team for, for coming out in first. And uh, we had uh, two more teams that won money. Kyle Baker, Martin Gray, Claude Tessier, uh, Thomas Rutherford. Mm -hmm. And Jim Tolman, Scott Baxter, Mike DeBuck, Jamie Manana, and McKay came in third. A lot of single, a lot of uh, winners closest to the pin and uh, closest to the marker, as you can see there. They're all published on the website. So uh, I got a story about number 18. We were We were coming in on 18. We had started on one. And uh, our team was putting, and it was a, it, if one of us sunk, it was going to be the longest putt. So I usually putted last because I was a hot putter that day for our team. And um, Steve putted before me. So the first three guys putt. We all got a line on the read on the line. Steve putts, puts it in. 
game over. I don't even get a chance to putt on it. <laughs> 15 bucks. <laughs> oh, brother. It was fun. Now, uh, there is one other matter I think you've got to explain uh, what happened here. We had the uh, pros versus the Joes. Uh, what what happened there, Tutter? <laughs> You know what, John? Hey, listen, it was so much fun. This was our first, uh, this is the first time all four pros actually played together in one group. It was, it was really nice uh, to spend the day with, with Cameron, with Fergus, with Nolan. Um, our celebrity pro who's uh, also joined our group was Brad Smith. Now he's a member of the club, which is great. And, and he, he rounded out the team for our fivesome. Um, we, we were playing really well. We started on the 10th hole, you know, we started with a par on the, 10th, which is, you know, we, we could take our lumps on that because it's not an easy hole. Um, but, you know, what we made too many pars overall. We finished 13 under par, which we're happy with. We figure we should have been about 16 under par. Uh, a few of those putts just weren't going in. But even that, even that wouldn't have caught our leaders. So, so yeah, we, we, have, to, we have to bow down to the members who did beat us. Uh, about two-thirds of the field, I think, beat us at the end of the day. <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you. For you to get, I mean, for you to win that, this is what you have to do. Yeah. You not only have to birdie every hole, you pretty well have to eagle the four fives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We knew we had our work cut out for Boy. us. But hey, you know what? It was it was great. There were still teams that uh, bet on us for the pair of mutuals, which God bless their soul. You know, thank you for putting your faith in us. And uh, we tried our hardest. I'll tell you, we were grinding over every shot. Like 13 is fabulous when you think about it. It's yeah. fabulous. Um, oh, by the way, we beat you too. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. but, you know, you have to, you have to say like, like, you know, we, uh, th there are some differences. Okay. When your group was out, we, we had in this format, in case you didn't play, you have to do three drives from every person. Well, in our group, you know, we have some higher handicap players. Like me. <laughs> it's deciding which three you're going to use. Right. Mm -hmm. So, like in your group, it doesn't matter. You can flip a coin. Everybody hits a great drive. It doesn't matter which one you use. In our group, we had to be strategic about it. And in one case, a couple of cases, we had to take the longer drive because, you know, we had yeah. to use that person's drive. One case, we had a, we had a ball in the green. It was a par three. We had a ball in the green and, and one at the side. We had to chip it instead of taking the automatic par. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's strategic that way. So, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun and fun. Uh, we enjoyed it and it presented some challenges, but it was a, it's a good format. Uh, it's too bad. You know, it, it's, I'm glad for the people that came yeah. and for the people that came, boy, were they happy. We, yeah. uh, uh, we were, we were able to auction off a, a beautiful whippersnipper and a, and a leaf blower. Mm -hmm. uh, we sold about another, what, 50 or 60, uh, 50, 50 draw tickets, which we'll talk about later. And uh, yeah. And the meal. Oh, oh. Just, that chicken and ribs were just fantastic. I mean, what a meal. Thank you know, John, just to go back on that, uh, if, you, if you're on talk about pressure, um, playing in, in, a, in a scramble, when you're down to the last hole and you have to use someone's drive regardless uh, of yeah. what it is, if they're down to the last shot, and uh, boy, I'll tell you, that's something that a lot of people don't want to be in that situation, which I'm sure a few of them were. So uh, we, were, we were down to the very last hole. We still had to use one more of Nolan's tee shot. But like you said, Nolan striped it down. Uh, mm -hmm. Great, great, great shot. And, uh, but yeah, you don't want to be in that situation where it's the last, last hole and you still have to use someone's tee shot. Yeah. So. And, and we tried deliberately not to be there because we have Jim Delahunty. He's our big driver. So coming down 18, we wanted to use his drive. And boy, did he smoke one. He oh, just... Well absolutely smoked the drive over the right side trap we were 230 yards off the green uh and uh we uh he couldn't hit the next one otherwise we'd been on the green but we came within 20 yards chipped about uh didn't have a good chip there it was terrible and then we sunk our putt for the birdie though nice um i want to we don't normally talk about match play but we have uh we have in the open division, Jared Carl's in the final. Uh, yeah. And he's waiting for the playoff between Elliot and Aiden. Now they went out yesterday. I, I don't have all the details. All I got is snippets. The two players shot 66. Oh, wow. They tied. There was no time to finish the round. 
the in go overtime. So they got to go out Friday and finish it. I can't wait to hear that story. Tyler, that's incredible. Uh, you, you got two uh, young guns, big hitters right there. I mean, uh, I would love to have been out uh, just walking and, and watching them or caddying for them, uh, both to shoot 66 in the match play situation. I mean, they certainly can do it. They have the talent to do that, and I'm not surprised that they did it. But um, under that amount of pressure for both of them to, to hold up, I'd love to see what that scorecard. I, I, I bet you there was never a, a more than a one hole up or down um, uh, on that scorecard. They're very evenly matched. I mean, we're, you're talking about two of the best at the club. Two of the longest hitters at the club, too. Like, um, you know, I, I was watching the uh, – we had a, a competition closest to the 100 yard marker um, last Wednesday as well as, as close. And uh, Elliot hit one past the 100 yard marker, number nine, 20, 30 yards past it. Wow. Wow. So like you're talking driver and it's not even a sandwich for him. Like it's like a half a sandwich for him. Like, Oh my God. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> You know, I keep telling my friends, I hit one like that once, but then I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe something in the... What happened, my, my laptop just decided to restart on its own. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> so I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk about the 50-50 draw, uh, our last item here. Uh, can you uh, tell us where we are in that and uh, what we hope to sell on this? Yeah, John, the 50-50 the draw is going really, really really well thank you to all the members who have already put their names down uh we're three quarters sold out so we still have about 50 squares left uh we would love to get this uh sold out i mean it's going to such a great cause uh not only will we have a lucky winner from carlton uh to pull out a big uh, two thousand uh, dollar reward but this is going to the uh to the first t initiative through golf canada which is you know, supporting uh, supporting young people uh, in golf who who may not have the means to do so themselves. Uh, so it's it's a double whammy, uh, great great cause as well as a one lucky member to win. So about fifty tickets left. Uh, we had a few people uh, I think uh, even put their names down today. So we want to sell this out if we can. Um, I'm super excited. I, I know last year we had a big winner. Uh, this year, uh, you know, we can't wait to cut up all the squares and pull a lucky one out. Yeah, yeah, and uh, as I said, we sold about 50 or 60. Also, I want to make mention uh, for those men who weren't at the uh, men's league dinner, uh, to please be generous with your uh, tips to the back shop. Uh, uh, the young men, men and women that work back there, yeah, uh, uh, they certainly could use our help, but they don't get automatic tips like the waitresses and the kitchen staff and everybody does. Uh, th these guys, uh, These guys don't get that. They just get the minimum wage and they could use our help totter and where where can they find that box yeah so thanks sean uh that's great yeah so we are taking donations for our back shop and our starters uh that box is on our front counter in the pro shop so it's available there's a chip pad right beside it uh we do appreciate any and all donations the uh, whether it's small or large and uh, it, it it really does uh brighten their day when they when they get that uh that little gratuity check at the end of the year for them yeah so just a couple of other uh, house league um, uh, items. Uh, uh, you don't have to comment on these. Uh, I wanted to uh, tell the membership uh, and in, uh, what I do every year in appreciation to our score, Liz Clausen. We've given her a hundred and fifty dollar gift certificate uh, to our restaurant. So she comes here every Friday with us, and and uh, she will get uh, you know a chance to dine here. Uh, Liz works tirelessly every week. Uh, putting in all the data from our, our scorecard into the computer and allows me to get my work done. And uh, it's just a small token of our appreciation uh, to her. Uh, finally, one other thing, one other house league item. Um, <clears throat> those of you uh, who did not, who signed up for prepaid skins but didn't play every week, will be getting a refund for every week you didn't play of $5. That will be processed this month and it will be up here on your October statement. Uh, Tyler, great year. We may be uh, talking again next week. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about this match play uh, one at least and uh, any other house, uh, any other items to, to uh, close out the year. 
No, that sounds great, John. Thank you. Yeah, let's let's do a recap of the the match play results next week once they're in, and um, can't wait to see who the winners are going to be. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Tyler. See thanks, you John. Bye bye. Bye bye. Everybody else, play well.